First, make sure that you've installed and played CSGO, since this installs the files that you need to make your own maps. Now, go to Library and down to Tools. Find and load Counter-Strike Global Offensive SDK and choose Hammer World Editor. Now for your first level. We'll make a room, see what it looks like, place a spawn point on it and then we'll play it. Making a room. Make a new empty level file by going up to File and down to New. Make a room by selecting the block tool and by dragging out a square here. Let go of the mouse button to make it detach from your cursor. We need to make it at least 128 units large in all dimensions. The top box is an above view of your level. These two are from the side. Make it the size you want by dragging the white squares around your block's edges. In one of the bottom views, make sure it's at least 128 units tall. Press Enter when you're done to make the block permanent. Make it a hollow room by going up to Tools and Make Hollow. Type minus 64 and click OK. Viewing your level. Move your mouse over this black box and press Z to toggle navigation mode on and off. You can explore your map as if in no clip in this mode. You can enable textures by clicking Camera and by choosing 3D Shaded Textured Polygons. Placing a spawn point. Next, click on the Entity tool and click on the platform you've just made to place a terrorist spawn point. Make sure he's not too close or inside a wall or he won't work. You'll spawn here in game. Playing your map. Save your map file. It doesn't matter where, but don't have a space in the map's name. Underscores are fine. Now to play it. Press F9, click Expert, choose Full Compile, HDR only, and click Go. This process is called compiling and it converts your map file into a playable CSGO map. Once finished, it should load the game. If you try and click Terrorist side and it doesn't let you, then the spawn you placed isn't working, either because it's too close to a wall or his feet are inside the floor or whatever. Simply return to the editor, choose the selection tool, click on the terrorist and drag him about in one of the 2D views. Move him so that he's floating somewhere in the middle of your room, away from anything solid. You won't start floating in game, don't worry. You'll notice that in game at this stage, the walls look all black and weird. You need at least one light of some kind to fix this. Quit CSGO. If at this stage your hammer editor becomes unresponsive, simply reload it. Sorry. This happens sometimes after playing the game in full screen. You can get around this by having the game run in a window. Adding light to your level. Choose the entity tool again and click somewhere in your room to place another terrorist. Click the selection tool and double click on him. In the class category, choose light and click apply. This light will work where it is, but I suggest moving it to the middle of the room for optimal prettiness. Simply choose the selection tool, make sure the light is selected in the 3D window, and then drag it around in the 2D ones until it's where you want it. Running the map again. Press F9 to recompile your map. It should remember your settings from earlier, so you'll only have to press go and your map should load. Congratulations on completing your first map. You'll get stuck a lot with map design, but always remember that you can return to this stage if you ever get truly lost. Check out the links below to go to more advanced mapping videos.